And the first one I've been asked to go through is safety. So this is a requirement that we all have for something like this on our desk, uh, which is a, a list of useful contacts, uh, security, uh, if you're running uh, into uh, any issues, uh, feel free to contact uh, those numbers. Uh, overall, uh, in security, uh, Tlithi is relatively safe town, it's a rural town, uh, but uh, there are, or maybe incidences, uh, we may not expect that we're going to have any serious incident, but nonetheless, uh, it, it's important to have uh, the, the security desk uh, uh, contact. And uh, the OSH policy, I'm uh, just going to put it out here, uh, uh, the commitment, commitment by management, uh, uh, operations guided by risk assessment. Uh, so watch out for slips and trips. Uh, uh, in the event of uh, stairs, wet floors, there will always be, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call them, um, signs to uh, let you know. And uh, on the other hand, uh, you will see all the, the, the fire safety uh, equipment. Uh, some of us have uh, worked in uh, either safety or had the training, you can get to use them. But then at the program, we got um, a dedicated staff and in the event of a fire alarm or in the event of fire, uh, they will spring to action. Uh, we do not have any scheduled uh, fire alarm. So if you hear any sound, uh, it's real. And we all converge outside uh, at the designated uh, uh, areas. Uh, you see uh, a fire assembly uh, points. One is just right uh, downstairs of this building. And uh, there are first aiders within the program. Uh, so if you've got uh, an issue, let me know. Uh, let uh, Kirsty know. Uh, or um, let Liz and uh, uh, James Abuja. Uh, James was here. I think he's walked out. Uh, no, but uh, we, we, we can lance um, and we can get uh, you sorted out. Security, uh, uh, Tony just mentioned about uh, the security desk. You deposit your uh, IDs there and then uh, you can collect them on your way back. And uh, report any concerns you might come across or any uh, suspicious uh, things that make you uncomfortable. Uh, uh, kindly uh, report them, they'll be taken care of. Care of. Uh, we will not be necessarily going to the lab, uh, so PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, is a must. If you'd like to take a walk or a tour of the lab, it's very welcome. And uh, we can make arrangements uh, to go and see the laboratory uh, facilities. Uh, just ensure that you got closed shoes. That will not allow you in uh, if you don't have closed shoes. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to raise uh, any suggestions. So that's all I'm going to talk about: fire and safety. Um, and if you run into any issues, uh, kindly um, yeah, let us uh, let us know. So the next bit is again to welcome you to the course. Uh, and this is the second year running and. Uh, initially, I think the, the idea is to sort of build a critical mass of bioinformatics scientists. And uh, this came out also from my lessons in COVID. Uh, we really struggled uh, in the country uh, looking for bioinformaticians. Uh, looking for bioinformaticians with a, a skill set uh, to uh, build workflows. And therefore, uh, this is a course actually meant uh, to close that gap. And uh, it's multi-pathogen, and I'm so glad to hear all of us working on different uh, pathogens. Uh, there was a little bit of emphasis last year on COVID, and uh, also the other bit you might know about this cause is that you did not necessarily apply for it and get selected. Uh, it's uh, designed uh, to hard pick you uh, through uh, your line management in your respective uh, institutions that they recommended uh, that uh, you attend uh, this course. And therefore, it's unlike other courses sometimes where you have to make an application. And the reason for that uh, is uh, to target and work with those uh, uh, institutions and also to try and pick uh, people who are really relevant for this course. And as you'll see, also, um, the course is not perfect. Uh, so some of the work I will present uh, is not necessarily meant to be very uh, very smooth, all right? I'll give you sort of the overarching um, aims, uh, objectives, and the guidelines, but it's up to you to really uh, work through uh, the course material. And there will be ups and downs, but that is expected, and partly because you already are familiar uh, with those uh, uh, parts of, uh, or uh, you, you already experience that as, as part of your work, okay? Uh, I've attended courses where, you know, everything is smooth and runs right across the seminar, 
and then you start on Monday in your workplace and it just doesn't work and you've got all these other issues, okay? Uh, so that, that's one, uh, one thing. So um, I think I've kind of talked through objectives, uh, which is the uh, get um, people to learn uh, tools and pipelines. And the other important thing um, is to uh, build this network, okay, to, know, to get to know each other within the region, uh, within the country, and uh, uh, work and foster that network and know that you can always um, assist each other and you can reach out uh, to someone. Some of you are working on a range, a range of uh, pathogens, others are very focused on a particular pathogens, and uh, you may be called upon, as it always happens in bioinformatics, uh, you're very well versed with uh, virology and viral pipelines, and then boom, cholera comes around. And, uh, you are the bioinformatician, now who, what do you do? Right? You're not an expert, you need to know who to go to uh, and they'll sort you out or at least help you out and uh, initiate that collaboration. So uh, in a sense, uh, that is the uh, other aim that we aim to, uh, to, to build. Uh, so this is a really nice uh, plot from uh, Kasi uh, that she generated and I thought I'm going to put it up here. And we've introduced ourselves uh, and uh, it just showing the range of where people come from. And we, we're quite well represented, isn't it? Uh, we, we got South Africa here, those, those are the, the, the funders, the organizers. Uh, and uh, we got Malawi, we got participants from DRC Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, quite, um, quite a number of us. And uh, from Nigeria, really glad to, that you are, you, you, are able to, uh, you are able to join us. Uh, uh, yeah, so we've got a couple of names there uh, uh, looking at where we uh, all uh, come from. Um, the course is split into two. Um, we got an advanced stream and uh, we got a beginner stream. And the idea was for us to know where we fall in and uh, assess where we, we fall in. Some of us already know they, uh, they want to be in the advanced stream, uh, you ask to, uh, to select. And there will be those of us who are in the beginner stream. Uh, the lead, I, think, I think there's a little bit of flexibility. Uh, you want to attend uh, think something, uh, but it's very important that uh, we know right from the beginning uh, that you are either in the beginner stream or in the advanced uh, stream. They, they, they're also very uh, complementary. Uh, all the practicals will take place here in this uh, room. And uh, we're going to have lectures going on here. And we've got also other lectures going on in a separate room uh, downstairs, which is a training seminar room B. So there's a projector there. And uh, I think we'll decide which of the beginners or the, the advanced to choose. I guess it makes sense for, I think advanced will be a smaller group, so yeah. smaller they, group they goes downstairs. Down okay, right. And then everyone will be, uh, will be uh, um, in here, and all the practicals will be here. Uh, we got uh, Waitito to help you out, so the setup is that we got these uh, uh, virtual machines uh, that are all connected to the server, and uh, we got uh, 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 TTY terminals uh, to, uh, to the server. And uh, Masita and Edwin will be helping you out uh, to connect or if you run into uh, an issue, uh, everything is all uh, virtualized. You are pretty much the system admin, uh, so you can play around uh, with your virtual space um, and you can install stuff uh, and install it um, and um, pretty much control that environment. Uh, the server IP that we're going to be using is this and uh, it's running Alma Linux. Uh, at the moment. Uh, previously, we were running CentOS. Uh, CentOS and Alma Linux are just about the same thing, other than, I think, rights and uh, names. Um, and I think um, Alma Linux is one of the two uh, uh, diastros that are superseding uh, CentOS, given that uh, CentOS uh, underwent some uh, uh, modification and uh, I think is now more um, experimental than it was, it's, you know, I think there was a concern. So we are all moving over to Alma Linux uh, also here at the program. This is the server uh, IP and each of you, we got about 25 um, uh, usernames and you'll simply SSH, uh, you'll be assigned uh, one of the train one, train two, and so on and so forth. And you simply uh, SSH uh, using your respective uh, uh, train X uh, to uh, to the server, and the first time you log in, uh, you will log in with this password, and then you'll be prompted to uh, change that password and uh, put in a password that you are familiar with, and that will be your TTY uh, login uh, to uh, to the server. Else. 
Um, yeah, that's what, just what I say. Uh, local accounts are only available by SSH. Uh, users are train one and so on and so forth, just like last year. And you'll be provided with an initial password, and uh, then you can change that. Uh, uh, are the usernames assigned already? Uh, yes. No, not it. So um, we can later start that way and just move across. Yeah. So user one. I'm I'm trying to assign. Yes. Messages uh, order. Do we have? Oh yes, we we could. We we have a list. We can just use that one. Uh, for all the practicals, just so that everyone knows them. We should do it now, rather than yeah. in the same group. Yeah. yeah, do we? Or do we have to use them? Yeah, 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 I mean, if we just go like this. Yeah, we can just go on. like that. Uh, one, six, six. Nine. nine, ten. ten. Oh, I know it's because of, uh, yeah, I know my group is in its own, but anyway, um, so 26, uh, so th 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 those will be your user accounts, um, Masita can be the next one uh, if need be, uh, the 26th one, I think you have 25, but it, it just, yeah, so, so those, those will be our usernames, and therefore you simply log in um, uh, your username, your train, so for example, if you're got number five here, it's train five at uh, 172.16.13.171, okay? And all that, that, that is only uh, within the, uh, work, the, the, the line, the local area network uh, that we are in. So you can choose that outside that if you go back to your rooms, if you want to log in, uh, it will not work unless you uh, have a VPN access that requires that you get a domain, a Cambridge domain um, username uh, that we all don't have. Um, in terms of, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, so user environment uh, will be your home, uh, slash home, once you log in, and uh, try and keep all your files in slash home, right? Uh, and you can make use of uh, the, uh, the data here. And, uh, sorry, um, the software that we're using is largely, this will be our main uh, tools. Uh, in one way or another, we may need to uh, install uh, particular tools along the way, uh, but those will be our mainstream. I'm not sure whether Coda is installed, or is that... I know there was part of an exercise to install Coda, mini Coda, uh, but Edwin may have already set it up for you. I think the last email he sent, it wasn't he said okay, So that wasn't installed. Yeah. Okay, so we will install mini Coda as part of the um, beginner's class. Uh, Snake Make, is that installed? In the user homes, if not, it's not a problem. We, we will set that up as part of the exercise. Uh, next flow, I think that that set up. Yes, yes set up. And Docker, that set up. Yeah. yeah, because it can be trouble getting Docker running uh, sometimes. So we thought we're just gonna set it up. Um, and Singularity uh, is a single instance by HPC, right? So that that's already uh, set up. So we will get to interact with those uh, tools. Uh, so I think that just coming to the end of the introduction session and. Um, and I had a little quiz. I know a few of us know who this gentleman is. Who knows who this gentleman is? Who knows who this gentleman is? Oh, no way. Ken <laughs> Thompson. You're on the right. <laughs> well, he's a chemist or was a chemist. He passed on recently, I think the day before yesterday. Yeah. And uh, he is the founder of Intel Computers, the company, and came up with the Intel chip, uh, 
Pull your back. Yeah? Yeah, more. So, uh, I like those trivia because, uh, you know, sometimes you don't get to recognize people uh, that play quite central roles in computing and what we do. And uh, it's always nice to get to know uh, some of these. It's just trivia, but I thought that's uh, really uh, important. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy who predicted uh, that the speed, of, uh, the, the, the cost, is it the cost of uh, microchips or the speed of microchip will double every two years, the so-called Mosul. Yeah, and uh, you know it, it came to pass. You know, and uh, he's won uh, several awards and uh, part of the founder of uh, Intel uh, are competing and uh, passed on this. So now it'd be nice to pay tribute to uh, his great work um, uh, with uh, with microchips. Right. Okay. So um, maybe now we can uh, just split into uh, the two streams, um, and uh, the advanced stream will go down. Uh, just about 10 o'clock. I don't know whether it's time for tea, actually. Whether we break so, the tea. So, I guess, do we want to just check yeah. and run briefly over the two streams? I, and yeah. then I think it would make sense to have the streams separated within the room. Ah, yes. Because it. there'll be some things, you know, it's better to have yeah. advanced on one side and yeah. go through on the other. Yeah. 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 Do you want to leave that? Um, do you want to go through what we're going to... Okay, so I guess maybe... So, um, I guess the default is kind of the introductory screen. Um, so, in, in the advanced stream, um, what we're going to be covering is kind of advanced Python. Um, so, that's going to involve uh, writing your own classes. Uh, so, writing your own, creating your own objects. So, before you, I, I would say that a prerequisite for that is kind of being really familiar with the different Python data structures including like dictionaries, where the value is a dictionary, um, and where even like there's another level of dictionaries within that, so dictionaries within dictionaries within dictionaries. So if that kind of didn't make any sense to you, then come and talk to me and we can figure out whether advanced stream is the right one for you. Um, and we're also going to do like exploring um, bioinformatics modules. Uh, specific bioinformatics module. So basically, um, yeah, everyone is obviously welcome uh, to go on either screen that they want to go on. We just want to make sure that people are on that right one. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to cover in the advanced. Um, and introductory, I think, is, is Conda, learning Conda, learning um, uh, Docker. Uh, so uh, file organization. File organization. Yeah. Snake thing. So just kind of have a think about it, you know, um, and come talk to us if you're in any any doubts about which one to go for. Um, and then once we're sorted, then uh, introductory side is going to be over here, and uh, advanced stream is going to be over here. Just so while we're doing the exercises, um, it's easier for us to kind of um, talk to the two streams um, as groups. Okay. So the pool in the introductory, uh, we can come over here just so that um, it, it's just easy to uh, to work through. Uh, you know yourselves, and then those who are more advanced will use the machines on this side, um, just so that we have uh, a little bit. And
You mentioned the time for the breaks. Two breaks We're using the same. So, uh, to will take us through the pre course survey. Uh, so, you don't mind to just have a sit down again? And uh, Tony will take us through that just before we start the action project. Is there enough space? So uh, we got a small technical hitch, and uh, Tony will access that, and uh, we can do that later. So uh, we can proceed from where we left, which was to uh, just uh, uh, separate everyone who's in the advanced uh, course on this side, sort of, that are going to use these machines, and people on the beginner's uh, stream will be on this side, or rather we'll use machines on this side. And then uh, we'll proceed, the uh, lectures for the advanced stream are taking place downstairs, uh, but then all the practicals are taking place here. And uh, we're going to use this projector uh, as needed, uh, particularly during the, the practicals. Okay, so um, I don't know what time we're supposed to break for tea, but we got tea uh, at 10, 10.30, and then our lunch gets served, I think, uh, from 12.30, and then we converge at 2 p.m., and uh, we get finished just around 5 p.m. That's the sort of the general uh, flow. Uh, there may be a little bit of fluidity, depending 
on what we are doing. So again, I said this workshop is not meant to be perfect, and uh, that's just the nature of bioinformatics work. Uh, and therefore, we will have some hitches, ups and downs, but that is fine. Okay. Uh, the, the point is that we got all the technical people uh, to help us, uh, and the idea is for us to actually uh, try and get more practical. Right. Okay.